front, getting the job done. Kugler said you were mean when you run, and he meant it as a compliment. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I get angry. I want to hit you before you can hit me, um, and I want to deliver the blow each and every run. Is there a running back either in the NFL or college that you try to mimic your game after? I just try to be the best person I can, the best Karan Hickman. Um, growing up, I watched Adrian Peterson a lot. Um, there's a lot of great backs in the league right now that I try and uh, look after and see what they're doing great and try and emphasize that. Kron, can you describe your view from the backfield? What, what was the offensive line doing Saturday? Uh, they were mean. <laughs> they were mean. They were moving people up front. They were on their assignments, and they were getting the job done. When Did you guys, uh, you, Ty, Chris, I mean, with a new quarterback coming in, I mean, you guys rushed for a season high in 51 attempts. Did you guys kind of feel like you had to maybe be a little bit of a buffer or, or help him out a little bit, get comfortable? No, we trusted him. He works hard each and every day in practice. Um, we, we know what he's capable of, and we just followed that. Um, we stayed poised, and uh, we just did what we had to do. How much easier was it? I mean, Brand played well. Offensive line played well. Running backs ran well. How, I guess, how, how was the flow? How easy was it when, when you guys did have some sort of sense of balance there? Yeah, it was great. Um, everybody played very well Saturday. Um, we played as a collective group. Um, and it was interesting to see Peter get in there and be so poised. Um, I'm very proud of him, and I'm glad he had some success Saturday. You obviously heard the way that the crowd erupted when he came in. I mean, did that give you guys that extra energy? Yeah, it was, it was tremendous. I think he gave him the confidence he needed. Um, we already had confidence in him and his, his ability, and I think that just put the stepping stone on it. Confidence-wise, what does a game like that offensively do for you guys, you know, get things going, you know, two 100-yard rushers and have him come in and do so well? I think it gives us a big boost. We know we got pieces, and we put those pieces together. Um, and seeing how we produce was very tremendous. Kron, guys, guys have, I remember John earlier in the season, O'Corn, saying that you, you had a burst like he had never seen. How... Where do you get that burst? What do you do to, to work on it? Cause, I mean, the, what the 36, 49, 59-yard touchdowns this year, there, there's something there. What have you done to, to boost the burst? Um, I just trust the training staff. The training staff does a tremendous job. Um, outside of my abilities that I already have, I stay um, stretching, trying to remain flexible. Um, I just do side work, you know, running with sleds, uh, again, stretching, emphasizing that, um, and just trusting the coaching staff. Can you describe kind of like a like a slide workout or something that you do? Just what you use, how how often you do it, reps, that kind of thing. Yeah, explosive lifts, you know. So maybe not going as heavy as usual when I'm squatting or benching, and um, just trying to get explosive, you know, going down slow and exploding up, or uh, maybe leg press, you know, doing the same thing, just type of explosive lifts like that. What did you see in that play that you scored on where Ben Mason kind of? Just Howard in the end zone. What was that like for you watching that? It's Ben Mason. He's a wrecking ball. <laughs> so I knew what I was getting into when I was behind him. Um, he's going to knock the first guy out that he sees, and I'm going to trust it, and I'm going to allow him to do it, and I'm going to run behind it. I know this team is this team is pretty young, but what, what do you guys know as a collective group about the little Brown John game and the history of that going into this week? We know that it's a big game. It means a lot to the Michigan team. Um, we have the Brown Jug here, and we want to keep it here. And we know that it's our duty um, to follow, follow our alumni who brought it here and I'll keep it here and send back to Hall. All right, you guys did win last time, but the last time it was here, they kind of had a big upper hand on you guys. Do you guys look at that at all, you know, getting that redemption here in the big house? Um, no. Um, we focus on the team that we're going to be playing Saturday, um, who they are and what they're going to do, and we got to prepare the best way we can for them um, this Saturday. Looking back at your time at Michigan, is this the type of role, the production you envisioned when you first got here? Uh, yes, for sure. Um, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect, but as I saw my role um, continuously increasing, I knew what I was capable of. Uh, I was looking forward to moments like this, um, but all, this, all the thanks goes to my old line. I can't do it without them. What is the relationship between you and Isaac, Ty Isaac? Um, it's very great. You know, we're good buddies. Uh, we joke on and off the field. Um, we push each other. We, he's been here just as long as I've been here. Um, so we're familiar with the process, and uh, we just keep each other level-headed and continue to com compete. Having seen him have a big game like you did this week too, you know, and you, you've been getting the most of the carries lately. I mean, how much confidence does that give him, or what is his attitude like from now that he's getting to be successful as well? He's great. He's a positive guy. He's always been positive. Um, he's always had a great attitude, and he's going to continue to attack it just as I am. Um, and we're going to continue to rise together to the top. Karana, at what age did you did you figure out that you had you know that elusiveness kind of? pinball quality, low low center of gravity, everything that everybody says about you. What age did you discover that? Um, when I was about 12 years old. 
12 years old, uh, I was pretty big as a kid, so as compared to other kids. Um, so I would just run through a lot of people, but then I got to a point where I couldn't just run through everybody. I had to make people miss. Um, so the coaches I had back then, they worked on me with that, and uh, I took it around with it. What were you, what do you mean big? Like, can, were you yeah, kid, like, I, a, I was like stronger, a chunkier kid? Or? No, I was stronger than a lot of kids. <laughs> I'm naturally strong, so a lot of kids um, I could just run over and run through. Um, and it got to a point where I just couldn't do it. So at, at some particular point you figure, okay, now I have to kind of add add a little bit more to my game? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, there comes a point where you got to grow. You, you, you got to um, learn how to perfect your craft. And uh, I knew that there was going to come a point in time where some guys I'm going to have to make miss and some guys I have to run through. Um, I love to run through people. Um, but if you want to be successful, you got to get to the end zone. And sometimes that just means making people miss. I feel like you have a little bit of I mean, kind of best of both worlds then. Yeah, I feel like I do have the best of both worlds. Um, and that's a great thing to have. Ron, Kareem has been getting games more. I mean, what have you seen from him in practice that he's earned this now? The kid's hungry. He competes. Um, and I love Kareem, and I love what he's doing. He runs hard. You've seen it Saturday. Um, he has some really explosive runs and uh, some big runs. And I'm proud of him, and I want him to keep going. Again, Saturday, you became, or you reached 1,000 yards in your career. Have you had a chance to reflect on that at all, on that accomplishment? Um, no, not really. I really didn't know about it um, until after the game. Um, I'm thankful for it, um, but I want to keep building. I got bigger goals and bigger dreams, and uh, I want to keep rolling and just finish this season strong with my team. How would you describe yourself, your running style? Do you think you run mean? Uh, yeah, I know I run mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm angry when I play um, because I'm running more than just myself. Um, there's other people that you know look up to me and that I got to carry a legacy for. So it's more than just me when I play this game. How do you channel going from <clears throat> this Quran, you know, cool, personable Quran to get me in on the football field? Is it a switch? How, how quickly can you do that? Well, this is a quick switch. Um, I was raised that way. I've always played that way. Um, it's just how I grew up playing football. You know, when you're playing football, it's strictly business. That's how it is in Florida. Florida is a way out. And uh, I just take that each and every time I take the field. So you think that way in high school as well? Oh, yeah. In high school, I felt the same way. I, I ran angry because I know I have a purpose. And I mean, the game doesn't last forever. So if I was going to go out on the play, I want to make it worth it. You said you're playing for certain people. You have, like, you know, trying to continue legacies and such. Who are, who are you playing for? You know, everybody in my community, um, my family, um, kids that I grew up with who didn't continue their career playing football. Um, and younger kids who maybe want to be me or be someone like me one day. Do you get feedback like after that game or the last couple of weeks? Yeah, um, a lot of people from my city always text me and you know send me encouraging words, um, and it's fulfilling. That lets me know that I'm making them happy, and that's important to me. Who would you say your top role model is, either in football or or life? My mom. My mom's everything to me. Uh, she works just as hard, um, so I know I got to go hard each and every day. Um, she never gives up, so I can't give up. Crown, what goes through your head when you're reviewing film? And like I mentioned, those you, know, you had three really big touchdown runs this year. What goes through your mind when when you see that on film? Just like watching your watching yourself do that. Um, how can I get better? What can I do different? What can I ma what can I do to make this happen earlier in the game? Or what can I do to make this um, easier on myself? Sir, have you done anything so far? Like. To like we look at in film and maybe it's even impressed you like oh wow maybe I didn't know you know yeah. I, I could do that or you know do you surprise yourself at all there, uh, there's some times where I'm like wow you know like that was a good run but I don't sit on that I try and move on from that and uh, I try and critique myself more than I do pat pat myself on the back how did you feel about your play the first couple of weeks I felt like it was great I felt like it was good but it can definitely be improved um, and there were little things that I didn't like and I wanted to work on um, and practice and try out. And there were different elements in my tool belt so I wanted to bring out. One or two more for Karan. Karan, so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry to go back to this, but when you say that you run for more than more than just you, when did that become a conscious thing in your head? <laughs> when I was five years old and I decided to play. After I quit my first day of football, <laughs> after I quit that day and my mom dragged me back out on the football field, I knew I had to do it for more than just myself. Why'd you quit? 
it was too hot. <laughs> it's Florida. Like, I'm five years old, you got me running laps, it's way too hot. I'm done. <laughs> looking back on that now, though. Yeah, looking back on it, it's a tremendous accomplishment. Um, I've had a tremendous journey. Um, I'm thankful for this amazing coaching staff, this amazing opportunity to play at this tremendous university. Um, and just to be able to be a part of this great team. So how often do you thank your mom for dragging you back to practice? <laughs> I think all the time. We laugh about it, we joke about it, we talk about it, and uh, we, we just we use it to keep going. All right, thank you for your time. Thanks, 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 Thanks,